here we are today at Gimme Shelter, an RV dealer in Mono, Ontario. And yeah, Keith is a Rolling Stones fan. And so you're wondering, Howard, why are you walking around an RV dealer parking lot? Well, because this is not a truck review today. In fact, what this is today is towing. So being that I've always been the truck guy, I know a lot about towing. And there's a lot of viewers who for the first time ever are interested in the idea of towing, particularly this year because everybody's got cabin fever, we're cooped up, we want to get away from the COVID, so let's get out there. So dealers, whether it's boats, PWCs, trailers, bikes, they're going crazy with sales. But one of the key things you need to know is how to tow. And stick around because that's exactly what we're going to teach you now. Do you need a truck to tow? The answer, no, you don't. As a matter of fact, the majority of people don't own trucks. They own things like what we have right here, the Toyota 4Runner, midsize, larger SUVs, even minivans. All of these vehicles will tow, and quite frankly, they tow well. Get your owner's manual out. Buried in there, you will find the tow rating for your vehicle. For instance, this Toyota 4Runner is rated at 5,000 pounds gross. That's the number that the trailer with the water, the batteries, the propane, and all your gear weighs. It can't be over 5,000 pounds, because that's what Toyota says. So once you've got that established, now you can go out shopping, because there's no point falling in love with something that you can't tow. Right here, we have the hitch receiver. Even people who've never towed pretty much know that, yeah, I think that's where a hitch goes. And the receiver receives the hitch. So far, so good. It's that simple. We have the hitch itself. The ball is gonna sit right in here. This is gonna lock it into place. Now, every trailer has a set of safety chains. There's already loops on the back of your vehicle. These chains will fit in there. And the point of these is exactly what it says, safety. God help you if this ever comes off, the chains will stop these two from separating. The last part in the front is the electrical connection. Now, depending upon the weight of your vehicle, this is either gonna be a four pin connection, which is basically just turn signals and stop lights, or a seven pin connection, which is also electric brakes. So we've had a look at the basics. We know that you can tow. We know what you can tow. Next week, we're gonna hook up this combination and actually get out on the road and show you what's involved. So here's the question. Where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.